Good, 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 good morning. Good morning, good morning. No, <coughs> no, <laughs> no time to, um, um, prep anything. Why isn't it showing? Hmm. Hey, it's not showing. Or is it? Or maybe I'm just confused. Oh, it is. Right. Hey, good morning, Chef Spartan. You have some pretty logo next to your name now. Interesting. Whatever that is. Um, yeah. So, what's the... What's the... Uh, so... Time just like ran out completely and I just had to go live. No preparation, no nothing. Anyways. Oh, cool. I don't know what Twitch Prime is, but congratulations. Uh, Kilrathi, good morning. Okay, topics. Throw them at me. Today I feel like um, painting with light, so that's what I'm going to do. Good morning, Eric. You're new. Mars astronaut, mutant ant, four more. Tomorrow I have hairdressers. I'm gonna go and cut my hair, fix my beard. Tesla Golem, all right, that's great. That's three, oh, four. Whoa, five. Hey, where did those come from? One, two, three, four, five. All right, one more. Bell and the Beast, Sea Witch, Mars Astronaut, Mutant Ant, Tesla Golem. One more. You can do it. Aladdin. All right. Two, which is Sea Witch. That's pretty cool. All right. Sea Witch by Georg986. Uh, so fl flustered today. Like nothing. All suddenly, like there in the headlights. Was it 986? Nine, 96. That's interesting. What's with me today? Nothing's working. <laughs> that is it's crazy. I don't know what's happening. Anyways. Okay. Sea Witch. I'm, I'm seeing this kind of manatee type um, sea witch. Like with the tentacles 
floating. Maybe she's a um, is that it's called polymorph? Is that what it's called? When you can um, change your um, shape. So maybe she's kind of. Half transitioning. Gonna give her some attitude, some tude. Oh, cool, Smashy. You're new as well. Fantastic. Very nice to meet you. Welcome back. So maybe she, she'll have like, um, uh, was, what are those called? Um, those kind of shell, barnacles, barnacles, that's what they're called, barnacles. Maybe they're like growing on her head. Maybe she's just there. Uh, In her half transformed state. You gotta have some boob, right? <coughs> if it's a woman, so silly. You don't really need a boob out, but I thought I just for contrast a little bit of smoothness there. Hey Russell Jones. So the sea witch. And Georg, I think this is your first um, your first topic, right? It's a bit silly, right? Boobs for contrast. But it's more more like a textural change. I want to have it have it um, run through the design between a rugged, like a seabed type things, and a smooth jellyfish skin. Um, some coral and whatnot. Hey, Larry. Good morning. Kuru. <laughs> Mila. Good morning. Did your dog bite your toe, Bjork? That's That sounds interesting. I am. Um, it's my daughter's birthday today. She turned six. We gave her um, uh, a bubble gun that shoots soap bubbles, uh, some super cozy slippers, um, like a Minions coloring book, Minions sippy cup. Uh, what else? Oh, the bunny from Zootopia as a, a plush toy. A little, my little cute little daughter. And she had some cake, singing, balloon, and uh, was sent off to school dancing. Happy day. They have a cool tradition uh, at her uh, school. It's that they um, they all make a birthday cake together. So you buy the ingredients, and for the birthday kid, you know, the birthday kid brings the ingredients, and they all make a cake together and eat it. 
It's a cool, cool little like uh, tradition. Maybe it's a, like a sea hag. You know, witches usually, um, they're not um, necessarily very pretty. Right? Otherwise, you, there wouldn't be a witch. So maybe she's just some old nasty hag. Sea hag. <laughs> Guru, yeah, that's um, they do that as well. Um, my my son, in my son's school, he's a bit bigger. Um, by the way, if you ever have you have any one of you seen uh, the movie Enchanted, that kids movie about the princess that um, gets uh, thrown into the real world like from a from a Disney movie she gets uh, by a evil witch she gets thrown into um, real world and she's like super silly weird cartoon princess but in real body um, I uh, my kids watched it the other day and I thought, like, wow, this act actress is playing the role super good, like the, f the facial expressions and everything. But what was even uh, cooler, um, I think that's her name. I'm horrible with names and actors, actors and actresses. But it's, it sounds right, Amy Adams. Uh, anyways, I looked. At like how she was acting and like wow that is super tight you know like you can't flaw her performance as a flimsy princess from a cartoon world you know she acted exactly like you would think um, but one thing I noticed was her hand move movements and positioning of her fingers and stuff I mean it must have had like so much actual um, effort. She must have practiced so much because so many hand movements and placements and uh, it was like it was spot on constantly. Really cool to see. So it, the, the, the huge portion of the movie I was just sitting and looking at her hands. <laughs> She did, like, I was so amazed by it. She should, like, teach a master class in hand, hand positions. And um, I also bought um, like markers, ink markers um, for Inktober more. And I noticed um, um, I used uh, like a, a, a marker and it bleeds through the paper. Um, so what I started doing was, uh, you know, the 
one side I drew with the markers and it bled through the page. Uh, and I, what I did on the opposite side was that I had to try to make something out of the parts that have bled through. Uh, but obviously not redraw the drawing on the, op uh, the opposite side, you know, so that it gets two different drawings, but with the kind of same rhythm. Because, you know, the shadows, the deeper parts where I used a, a thicker marker bled through. So, which means that it becomes like a mirror image on the back side. But I had to not draw the same thing. It's a really interesting uh, challenge. I can show quickly. Like here's the just a really quick heads whatever, um, and here's the mirror image, aliens and weird zombies and <laughs> hilarious. Uh, Smashy, I, I put up my uh, Inktober drawings on Facebook. Um, I will, at the end of the month, though, make a post on my website uh, about, um, you know, with all, with all the uh, Inktober ones. Um, I feel like I draw them every day, but I don't, don't necessarily post them every day. Um, I have. I don't want to be like a spamming person on, on on social media like look at my drawing look at my drawing all the time I mean I do it enough with this uh, warm-up ones and whatever I'll post all the October ones at, at the end of the month so see which she has Floaty. Manatee things. Maybe seaweed. Should be more seaweed, definitely. Would be cool, like, you know, there's, um, in uh, North mythology, or uh, lore rather, folklore, there was this. Um, it was called like forest nymph, or I don't really know the actual word for it in English, but it's this woman with a hole in her back, and she lured uh, men into the forest, and when they came with her into the forest, she's like this naked woman, and uh, and she lures them into the forest, and then she eats them. So could be a cool little nod to that, like not that she's she's that, but the idea of having a hole in the body. It's a cool idea. Um, I like it. It looks like deceiving. I have this book about uh, folklore creatures <laughs> from Sweden. Really funny. There's book. There's a part about nightmare, the 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 kind of entity that uh, rides you in your sleep so that you can't um, sleep properly, and uh, gnomes, trolls, witches. Um, all sorts of things. It's a really funny book. It's there. It's all illustrated, and it's just a book like an encyclopedia of of uh, entities. So 
So let's see, old people. What's old people? What do they have? They have pets. Georg, yeah. <laughs> There's a naked temptress in every every part of the world. She can have a, uh, what are they called? Uh, not eel, but a huge hunting one. Marine, marina. Uh, whatever they're called. She can have one of those because she has a pet. They're so menacing looking. Oh, Kilarath, that's <coughs> that sounds fantastic. <clears throat> no, no, thank you. Remind me to never go with some woman in, into the desert. That won't happen. Have you seen the movie when, um, what's her name, Johansson? Again, I'm horrible with famous people names. Uh, she plays some in, in Avengers. Um, she's the black leather suit wearing Avenger. something Johansson under the skin yeah is that the uh, do you mean about she's an alien if if in that case then yeah that movie I was gonna um, um, <laughs> wow today what is it with me today my brain is just not here whatsoever um, my brain, come on. Scarlett Johansson, all right? That's the name. The movie when she's an alien and hunts men. I'm quite sure that's going to be like a new urban myth thing. Chef Spartan, yeah, the movie is super weird. Left me with this really nasty feeling as well. It was not like a comfortable movie to watch. I have to see. Whoa, what time is it? Eleven minutes. Oh shit! How? Oh, There's so much time left. Um, the, the deformed dude. Um, all I remember is some, like uh, the black floor and some guy uh, like being eaten. And her in a van. <laughs> That's all. And the the whole forest scene. That's all. I, like all I remember from that movie. And weird as mu music. She had a brother or something, right? That thing can't be there. It bugs me. Give her like floaty 
pair. Maybe try to give her like uh, some sort of hair. Her uh, seaweed crown. I love freaky movies at times, but I watched this one horror movie. Uh, it messed me up so much. I I hate horror movies. Freaky movies, they're okay. Horror movies, no, no. It's this Korean horror movie called Tale of Two Sisters. It just completely. Nope. Nope. I did not enjoy it. I was like, needed to take uh, like breather breaks. I paused the movie. I just had to walk away, like pff, take a few like like steps to like clear my mind, <laughs> go for a walk. You know, it was so tense. The thing in that movie it was like it never gave you a break. It just constantly was messing with you. You constantly like were expecting something to happen. Like it's gonna happen now. No, it's gonna happen now. No, it's gonna happen now. No, it's gonna happen now. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> you just shit your pants. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen the American version. I watched the original, and it's just so psychological just completely the pacing was so uncomfortable really well made in that in that way and you knew it would like scare you You're like okay now it's going to be a scare moment is it is there wait, wait no then ah! <laughs> And you get almost like angry at yourself for falling for it again. Yeah, smash it. They, they truly are. And uh, Georg, definitely, they are. They really know how to make scary movies, to the point where I, I am not happy about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll gladly ignore it. I don't need to look at any more Korean horror movies. I'm good. I think I just have too active imagination. Like, it just anchors in into my mind a little bit too too well for it to be comfortable smash it <laughs> their points <laughs> scared that I have no idea about I mean, a lot of horror movies are just purely based on instinct. You know, what scares you? Jump scares and nasty images. That's about, that's about it, you know? And that's also why a big part of why I don't really enjoy it. You don't get anything out of it except being scared.
Yeah, they, they are quite messed up. I like thrillers, though. Like, tense, and where you, you, you have to, you know, sit on the edge of the seat and be all like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? And, but just s jump scares and Not for me. Yeah, smash it. Exactly. It's a lot of um, Western horror movies. It's just computed, uh, computated uh, scares. While the really scary ones they, they go underneath you know into your mind messes you with you that way and that's why they're good you know or deemed as good rather I I, I, I don't find them good but you know, each to their own Georg definitely I mean um, for me like Alien 1. I mean, obviously now it's not that scary uh, because the, you know, like in that sense, the tricks have become better uh, with the time. Um, but for a long time, it was really tense. You know, not li like scary, jump scare scary. But it was a really tense horror movie. I would class it as a horror movie, actually. And definitely a thriller. <laughs> Kuro, yeah, that's exactly that's also why I don't like watching horror movies, because they, they leave scars in your head. It's really hard to to shake. Shadow, cast shadow. No, here. And some more light. Up here. kind of like her messed up mouth looks almost like she's been you know like how dead how fish uh, in sea in water when they day that <laughs> they die the the flesh kind of just disintegrates it's kind of cool cool idea for a uh, textural thing like on a in animation you know like how the skin f peels off and flakes off that could look really really scary Georg now now not for me. That's why I also don't want to um, show scary movies to my kid because he doesn't need that extra ammo for his imagination to mess him up.
All right. This is it. The oh, that the hand. I need to correct that before I call it finished. See which. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> That's a, oh, the, the result of the today. <laughs> yeah, that is a little bit like the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks all for coming. Have a great day. Have a great evening, wherever you are. Uh, that's pretty cool, actually. And see you all um, tomorrow. Bye.